Welcome back to Creature Creator. We are making the ultimate destructive beast today. I've started off with the fire axe head, which has level three bright, breathe fire and eat. It can actually eat stuff, which is probably important. But I'm gonna be adding multiple heads onto this thing so we can get maximum damage of all kinds. So here we have two other flamethrowers that I'm gonna try and point in the right direction. The goal here is to be able to defeat the humans without too much struggle. Okay, let's go with the face blesser next. This thing can spit and it can also growl and bite. I think that's going to be a good one to have there. There we go. We're going to have to test this out to make sure that the spits, the bites, and the fire all go in the right way. All right, let's get some hands on this guy. There we go. And I'm going to face the hands upwards so that he's showing his palms, which might seem a little bit weird. <laughs> Except I'm going to put spikes on the palms as well. Okay, this is my guy. I've just called him the Demolisher for now, but he is at 99 complexity. He has loads of health, like 300 and something health. I'm hoping that he can actually survive, but also lay down some good damage. So let's have a look at these attacks. Okay, so he can spit, breathe fire. Oh my god. Oh, that is good. Yes. I feel like the spitting and the spikes probably need to go a little bit higher than that. Oh, that's good. That is very good. You might be wondering what those curly things are on his back. Each of those adds 14 health, but only costs 3 complexity. So that's why I've used them. Okay, here we go. We're gonna battle it out against the humans. Yes. Yes, melt human. All right, I've lost a little bit of health. Uh, we're on round two already. All right, gotta get the dog. Gotta get the dog. Gotta get him before the human actually starts shooting me. Yes. Yes, that's it, bro. All right, got another one. And I ate him. And I ate him. Did you see that? Oh, oh, hold up. He just shot his mate. He just shot his mate. Ow, he just shot me. If I can get these guys to shoot each other, that could also be a good tactic. Come on, come on. Shoot your buddy. Shoot your buddy. <laughs> Friendly fire is valid, okay? Ow, ow, that was a really good shot. All right, maybe I can get them both at the same time. Yes. Yes, burning. The burning is upon us. Oh, yeah. And I just ate him as well. And I just ate the dog. This is the ultimate beast. I told you guys it was going to be the ultimate beast for winning the human battle. It has been done. All it took was creating this hideous beast. And I was able to do it. Guys, come up with a name for this thing. Should it be called the human destroyer? I don't know. Probably. It should probably be called that. Human and dog destroyer. Oh, I can even burn cop cars. Yeah, take this. Take th Oh, owie. <laughs> Are you serious? He's rolling around like a rotten apple. Okay, I guess I'll go eat my body then. Come on, let's just eat this. Mmm, yummy. Man, I'm tasty. So I grabbed this thing from the workshop and I have a little bit of regret. It is called, oh God. And I can understand, oh God. <laughs> Are you serious? Okay. This thing is amazing at walking. How good is it? It can jump really high. It can even walk over the cars. This is such a good beast. Guys, let me know in the comments if you've created any creatures in this game and you want me to check them out. This is incredible. This is so incredible. I'm gonna make it over the truck. This could be the beast that we use to finally get the stuff off the back of the train. Let's go. Ow, the train got me. Okay, we were close. This is a really awesome beast. I thought I hated it, and it's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. It's got a face not even a mother would love, but it can do this. And this is just... Okay, it can get hit by cars. Wow! Okay, here comes a train. I'm gonna try and land on it. I'm gonna try and land on it, guys. Ugh. Okay, okay. Come on. Come on, train. Come on, train. Yes. Yes, we're gonna get the part. Oh, oh did I get it? No, I didn't. It's really hard to see, but he actually is flying. He's so much better at flying than he is walking. Alrighty, train. I don't like you, and you love running over me, apparently. So let's just get it. Oh, it's not quick enough. It's a cool beast, but it's not good at doing the things. Okay, maybe it's able to do this quest. This is the quest where we need to get coal and put it in the furnace. Alrighty. How good is this guy at mining? He doesn't strike me as a miner. All right, I've got a pickaxe, as you can see. <laughs> it's on my whatever that is. Okay, I'm just gonna mine this rock. Okay, good job. Let's get the coal. Oh, we got some more coal over here. Nice. All righty, two coal. I'm carrying two coal. Good job. 
If this was a movie, it would be called like the hideous beast gets a job or something like that. All right, got to put it in there. And then I drop the coal and that counts as one, even though I put two in there. That sucks. All righty, come on. Come on, let's go. Ah, oh, two. My coal is like stuck in here somehow and it's not counting. This is a really hard quest to do. I'm not even sure it's possible. But look at this. I can walk over buildings and stuff. Oh, hey, there's a part down there. Let's get the part. What is it? Ugh, fly. Come on, dude. Fly up here. Alrighty. Got myself another part. It's called a blade foot. Okay. What is a bl That's a blade hand and blade foot down here. Abilities are sprint. Oh, yeah. Those things look awesome. Are they fast? Hey, they're, they're really fast. Yeah, I could just fly into the smokestacks in the factory. Come on, get up. Get up there. Let's get in sight. Ah, oh, this is a good place to die. Here we have another creature from the workshop. This one is called Mech Jelly, and I think this is gonna be the one. He even has night vision. You know, you guys know I love night vision. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna jump, and then I'm gonna land right on top of the pattern. That's my plan. I'm gonna get you, pattern. All right, here it comes. Here it comes. I gotta time my jump. I'm gonna jump right about now. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're coming down. We're coming down. Yes. Yes! We got it, and we escaped! We got the final pattern! Take that, creature creator! <laughs> Finally! All the patterns and all the body parts. The only thing I'm missing is that quest, because the coal just doesn't work. Oh, Jelly Man, he can carry the coal too! Oh, look at this! Jelly Man gets a job. <laughs> Let's go. Let's put it in the machine. Hopefully this counts. <sighs> Please. Two coal. Yes. All right, mine some more coal. This is actually a really capable creature. I love this one. Wait, where did my coal go? It said I had... Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay. All right, now I'm at three. Which one doesn't count? Maybe this one. Now I'm at one. What? Let me count these. One, two, three, four. I've put four coal in there and only one of them count. What's going on with this? Okay, now it says two. That's good. Now it says three. Now it says four. Oh, okay. All right, I just had to rearrange them. Just had to reshuffle the coal. <laughs> this game, I swear. It's a little bit buggy sometimes. Where's my pickaxe? I need to get the coal, finish the quest. Oh my God, I jumped way too high. And then I can build a Ban Ban monster. Totally doing it. We're building Ricky, Mickey, and Tiki. Okay, I've got the pickaxe. Drop the pickaxe. Let's go. Oh my God, it says three now. Okay, okay, four. What one aren't you counting? Two, one. Yep, it's just not happening. Get in there. I'm gonna get this myself. I'm gonna climb in there and I'll be the fifth piece of coal. Okay, let's go. Ricky, Tiki, and Mickey. Let's do this. I'm gonna put this down here. This is gonna be such a good one. It's gonna be really tall. Basically a giant bird thing. And it's got to lean him forward a bit like that. Oh, that's way better. Nice. That, of course, isn't his head. I just had to put some eyes there so I could see what was going on. Okay, let's get some feet down there. They've got to be like bird feet, I suppose. What's the closest thing to bird feet that we've got? That's bug feet. Maybe the raptor talon would look all right. Yeah, that's right. Because raptors sort of come from birds anyway, so that's fine. We'll put that on there. Okay, so we've got to get these things that are going to act as necks, except they're arms. So let's just put that right in the middle. Stop giving me two of them. I only want one. Okay, I'm joining these two arms together so that they actually look like one neck. And I'll put them sort of like that. And we'll sort of put this around in a really weird crooked looking way. There we go. Okay, I've got my first head on there. Not looking too bad. Okay, got to work out how I'm going to get some beaks on these things. If I sort of go like that. Oh, that's not working too bad. That's okay. And I'll put it in their head like this. All right, I've managed to get the beaks on there and it took me like 15 minutes. It was insane because you have to move each little piece like a couple of millimeters at a time and then save it and load it and save it and load it. Shut up, ice cream fan. <laughs> All right, rotate this eyeball around. There we go. Put this one in position. Oh my God, we've got a Cyclops bird. Oh, there we go. Okay, rotate the eyes around. Oh, beautiful. There we go. Okay, so we can scrap these eyes. Now, this guy's looking pretty good, but he's not very tall. So we need to grow him. Oh, awesome. Super tall bird mode engaged. 
Now we just need some wings. Go ahead, just stick them on the side there like that. Rotate them around the backwards. What's going on with these wings? There we go. All right, shrink them down. Cool, make them flappy. Curl them in. Oh, that's a cool looking bird. All right, now we just need to color this guy. So he's got yellow legs. Let's give him some yellow legs, perfect. And he's got a pink body, a bit less pink. There we go, these need to be yellow beaks. All right, the heads are also pink. No lie, this thing was one of the hardest things I've ever made in here. It was really difficult. Okay, there we have it. We have Ricky, Tiki, and Mickey out here in the city. Oh, do they fly? Sort of flies. Sort of flies a little bit. He's so tall though. Oh my God, he's massive. Can he sprint? He can sprint. All right, he's pretty good. What attacks does he have? He's got a spin attack. What about ice cream trucks? No, ice cream trucks win every time. Look at him just rolling down the street. <laughs> See you, buddy. No, we gotta try and save him from the ice cream van. He's still going. Oh, there he is. Just rolling on the street like that, like a piece of garbage. Let's get him off the road. Someone, Mickey, do something. Uh, this is both of us. Hang on a second, how tall can we actually get this guy? Like if we start modifying some of these limbs, oops, like we go like this, and then we go like this. We just stretch the limbs out really long, what happens? Oh, still epic stilt bird. Oh yeah, that is cool. Man, this guy is tall, except his legs are all crisscrossed like he needs to go to the bathroom. All right, guys, if there's any crazy birds and creatures you want to see me make, let me know in the comments. Catch you guys next time.